There is a live look at Arrowgate as he is on the track, getting ready to work shortly. Let's get to Simon Bray. Thanks very much, TC. Yes, Arrowgate, the long-awaited work uh, for him in preparation for the Pegasus World Cup, working before the first race. The track was closed this morning. Just to give you an update, of course, if you've been following racing here in Southern California, we've been besieged by rain the last 48 hours. Conditions today, though, absolutely perfect. 73 degrees, clear sunshine, and the track was closed this morning for morning workouts. And Arrogate trying to play catch up here as he prepares for the richest horse race in the world on January 28th. $12 million purse. He was scheduled to run January the 1st. Had to scratch out of the San Pasquale. This will mark his sixth workout December 1st. He's had a couple of half-mile workouts, a 5 8 work, and then Bob Baffert stretched him out December 30, 21st with a 7 furlong workout. Came right back on December 27th with a 6 furlong workout. And that has meant a gap of 12 days since he last stretched his legs here at Santa Anita. And here he is. This is a live look as he prepares for a six and a half furlong workout, a distance that you don't normally see very often as far as horses prepping for races, six and a half furlongs, but he is working in company. We've got a tight shot of him here, but he does have a target to run at here. And you are watching this live here on TVG with Martin Garcia up, the Breeders' Cup Classic champion working now, six and a half furlongs and looks tremendous. Big imposing son here of Unbridled Song. And as we've come accustomed to, he's a, he's a good-looking individual. I mean, e even if you come to the track for the first time, you've never looked at a horse. This is a horse that you will pick out from a, from a lineup with no question. And here he is just cruising nicely, doing everything that he's being asked by Martin Garcia. Very relaxed. We don't have the split times yet. We'll get you those after the races. But he's going to do a little more here than he probably would in the morning. I mean, this is as close as you can simulate a race in the afternoon. By working before the races, we've got some other horses scheduled to work this afternoon in between the races, but Bob Baffert wanted to get a fresh racetrack, and management let him work here before the first race, and Arrogate cruising up on his workmate there, doing everything right. We're looking for the lead change. There it is, and just moving smoothly down the lane here. Visually very impressive. Like I said, we don't have the times and the splits right now, but just watching this and looking at the workout visually, very, very impressive here not asked too much bear in mind he hasn't worked in 12 days so they're not going to ask him for his life here in this workout looking at the calendar there you go as typical bob baffert workouts they're always horses are always asked for a little more past the wire but looking at the calendar with the race scheduled on january 28th that would give bob weather permitting probably two more workouts before the big race and I'm just listening to Michael Rona right now. They've got the 7-8 split in 124.56. So that would go hand in hand with the 7 furlong workout he had on December 21st. 7 furlongs in 124.80. And that's 124 very, very easily there. So we'll get reaction with Bob. We have Scott Hazelton trackside. Going to catch up with Bob Baffert. But I would think a huge relief for trainer Bob Baffert. He's been besieged by the... Uh, questions about when this horse was going to work with the rain would he get him to the race and i think if you ask him this was a very very important workout not so much what he did but just the fact he got it in as far as the uh, time permits here with only two more work scheduled before january 28th so i would think connections very happy that they just got him out on the racetrack and got him to work looks like he's galloping out a lot of the times when you see horses work and they gallop past the wire they would then turn back and come backwards the wrong way around the racetrack but it looks like he's going all the way around to the gap which is positioned about at the quarter pole here at Santa Anita that's the entry and exit for all the horses coming off the backside and it looks like Arrogate is making his way all the way around this mile racetrack here under jockey Martin Garcia good to see him back aboard he's been the regular work pilot for Arrogate in his last several works since Bob and him reunited remember he was the jockey that rode Arrogate in his debut so he's very accustomed to the Breeders' Cup Classic champ and how he feels.